Hello everyone, it's Wednesday, I'm Hayley and this is Newsround. Here's what's coming up in the next few minutes. The astronauts in SpaceX capsule returns to Earth. We meet the pet dog that was actually a fox. And we hear from kids around the world about climate change. What I want to see change is more bicycles and more electric cars. First up, footballer Marcus Rashford was given a special award from Prince William yesterday. The Manchester United forward received an MBE at Windsor Castle, an honour for people who have achieved amazing things. Rashford, who campaigned to make sure children received free school meals during the pandemic, dedicated the award to his mum. He also promised to do even more to help disadvantaged children in the future. Next, climate change has resulted in warmer temperatures and more extremes in weather in the UK. But in other parts of the world, the effects are even more dramatic. Newsround has been speaking to children and teenagers aged from 6 to 16 to find out what they're most concerned about in their country. Hi Newsround. Hi Newsround. Hi Newsround. I'm from Lebanon. From Oman. I'm Carla from Nigeria. I'm Trinidad and Tobago. I'm from China. Wales, England. The United States of America. Galapagos in Ecuador. Spain. Portugal. I live in Sydney and I'm worried about the coral reefs. That there seems to be more severe weather. For example, heavy storms that cause flooding. We had a cyclone. Lots of trees were falling. Lots of people were injured. Schools were closed. Dust storm in Dunhuang. Also, the typhoon in Shanghai, China. Increased flooding, unpredictability in weather conditions, and hillside erosion. My concern is the impact these have on the agriculture sector and their abilities to supply food. There are some plants that can't grow in the way that due to the heat becoming more. So the farmers have less income. In my country, food items have become very expensive. The California water drought was a big problem for a long time. We have to save water every day. It has a very big and fresh water that provides and supplies to Nigeria, Chad, Uje, and Cameroon. But due to climate change, 95% of the water in the chat is gone. If the climate turns hotter, there are going to be more heat waves, more droughts, more severe bushfires, and less rain. One thing is that forest fires happen more often than before. Also, in summer, it reaches a higher temperature. Temperature of some oceans currents will change and pushing some animals to migrate to another place. If we don't have any plants or animal here and um, the tourism will disappear and our economy too. I've seen a bunch of plastic and stuff go on top of these animals in the ocean. I want the world to be pretty and happy and nice. Not plastic around turtles necks and stuff like that. I care about the trees and all the plants and fishes. I wish COP26 could stop global warming because even a little bit of warmness to cover will turn white and that will make a sign that it is dying. If sea level keeps rising and rising, the city will disappear. In Lebanon, we're facing fossil fuel shortages. This is because we haven't had a plan to use solar energy or hydroelectric energy. Cars and factories make air pollution, which slowly makes the earth hotter. The air will not be pure enough for people to breathe, and it can cause health problems like asthma. What I want to see change is more bicycles and more electric cars. Remove any use of oil or coal to reduce these carbon emissions. I want to see change in the average temperature. Things I want changed are the amount of trees and forests being destroyed. Every time a tree is cut down, five more should be planted. Many people and animals are homeless. I hope the weather disasters could be fewer and fewer. If we each take care of our own environment, this can have a positive effect on the entire world. Thanks so much, guys. Well, for more stories about climate and the environment, you can have a look here on our Newsround website. 
Now, four astronauts have splashed down to Earth in a SpaceX capsule, ending a six-month-long mission to the International Space Station. After a 20-hour journey, the capsule landed in the ocean just off the coast of Florida in the United States. The crew emerged an hour later when they were greeted with applause and fist bumps. Next, it's time for your planet, so take it away, Shaniqua. Welcome to Your Planet. This week, we're looking at conservation efforts and events around the world. First to Peru, where 3,000 baby river turtles native to the Amazon rainforest were released into a Peruvian river last week. The turtles came from eggs hatched on artificial beaches as part of a conservation effort. The yellow spotted turtles are considered vulnerable and measure around five centimeters. Next to Israel, where a new company has joined the fight against global warming by sending fleets of balloons into the upper atmosphere. The balloons contain 3D printed blocks, which become small carbon freezers at high altitude, capturing the carbon from the air. Carbon dioxide emissions from the burning of fossil fuels and from industrial agriculture are one of the main causes of climate change. Finally, to Norway, where the Fjord Oslo Light Festival had an environmental theme. The Nobel Peace Centre was lit up in a piece called Transnature, and other works included The Abyss, which was inspired by animals living in the deep ocean, Monard, which reflects on the spirit of the universe, and Gaia, which is an astronaut's eye view of the planet. Shaniqua. OK, time for a quick roundup of some animal news this week. First up, meet Terry, the tiny newborn sloth, who, although famed for his slowness, arrived in speed this week to surprise London zookeepers. The sloth's mum was seen happily roaming around her enclosure less than an hour after she had delivered her new baby and was even smiling for the camera. And have you ever seen so many camels? Hundreds of herds of camels gathered in the Indian desert this week for the country's biggest camel trading fair. It was called off last year due to COVID, so more traders than ever were expected to trek the 100-mile journey this year. And take a look at this dog. No fox, I mean dog. Oh, this is Run Run. He was bought as a pet dog by his owners in Peru, but after he went missing and was later found, vets discovered he was actually a fox. An easy mistake to make, maybe. Well, that's all from us for today, but you can join us tomorrow morning for, new, for more news rounds. In the meantime, check out the website for all the latest stories. Have a great day. Bye-bye.